Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and when in the beginning of 2018 I did my video on the Matic, Matic, Matic F722 STD flight controller, I stated that probably this, is, this was the first F7 flight controller that made sense. Because um, because it was just it had everything buzzer OSD SD card a lot of UARTs everything 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 of course the 722 STD to function properly it also required a PDB and stuff like that in the same time more or less the same time the Matag also started selling or was selling uh, this thing which is kind of very popular and very good. Really, one of the most popular boards for INAF right now, which is called the F405 CTR, CTR, something like that, which more or less is a combination of the PDB, because you can just connect the X60 plug and, and everything around uh, and the flight controller with the SD card to FD, OSD and, and everything you really more or less need on the, on the flight controller. Usually, usually the STM F4 32 STM 32 F4 is fully fully enough, but some people made everything complicated because SBus is inverted and S port is inverted and there are some inverted protocols. You cannot really connect everything to everything to every serial port, and the F4 series has no inverters. So this is why what this was one of the reasons that I love the F722 STD so much. Of course, it has some problems, it has some challenges, you needed a PDB and so on. Today, today I want to show you something well that connects the best of both worlds. Because what I have right now over here in front of me is the brand new Matexis. F722 SE, which if you take a look very very closely is the good idea of the F405 CTR, CTR, STR, I never remember how this is called, with F7 CPU over here. I was really 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 waiting for this to happen because this really makes sense. Yes, I know some people say, oh, F4 is R enough, we don't need F7. <sighs> yes, we might not need F7, but F7 is a step forward. We want F7 because of lack of problems or when I'm gonna connect the S bus or S port because everything just works. Everything just works. So today let's have Let's have a look at the new F722 SE. This thing is more or less so new that if you want to use it, you almost cannot. Because iNAV is not supporting this yet on any official release. We have to wait for iNAV 2.1 for this to happen. Betaflight supports this thing only from version 3.5. 3 or something like that. There is no support on the other older flight controllers and the board itself has some really 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 pretty interesting features that dif really differentiate them from for this for example from this F405 CRT or CTR. Oh, it's written over here. It's CTR. What are those? Haha, <laughs> good question. There are two such a things. Think number one. Let's find, okay, you see here, there are pins over here, focus. Why you know focusing? Called C1 and C2. You know what you can do with the pads C1 and C2? You can connect to not one, but two FPV cameras and switch the camera that will be fed to the OSD with a switch from your transmitter. No extra hardware given. You no longer have to use, for example, a switch like this I have over here, which is not yet mounted anywhere. You can just do it with regular Betaflight and, uh, and choose which camera you want to use. 
You might say, what for? Mm, obviously, you're not flying with the airplanes. Why you're not flying with airplanes? Because you're not, obviously. Um, having two cameras is happening quite often on the big airplanes, when, for example, one camera is facing forward, second is backward, or one of the cameras is gimbaled, or, or something like that. Or, for example, you want to just have a preview of something uh, from a different angle than regular. On the mini quads, okay, probably rather it's not gonna happen because what for? Uh, but on the airplanes, it's a good one. And more than that, this thing can also switch uh, VTX on and off because one of the I did not I did not test this yet. I only saw this in the in the specification that this thing can have has actually a switch that allows you to power on and off a VTX. So if you're doing something. Uh, on your bench, the VTX will not get hot. Okay, I'm back. I checked this and that, and apparently over here the VBAT pad is switchable on off. Pretty cool. Really, really pretty cool. What else? What else? Five serial ports, the I2C bus, the RX6 on every corner to make the ESC telemetry simpler, PDB, current meter, voltage monitoring, of course, SD card, OSD, uh, two gyros. I'm maybe not personally the biggest fan of the two gyros. Um, I personally think that MPU 6000 is just enough for everyone because this is just good enough. But I know some people want to use the 32 kilohertz mode, so they want the more sensitive and faster gyro right? I see um, 2602. Okay, yeah, if you really want to, then why not? <sighs> Yeah, this flight controller probably is something you really want. My plan is to put this thing on the mini quad equipped with Beta Flight 0.40 and hopefully, if only the weather will allow to fly this thing this weekend because, yeah. I, I'm really, really, really looking forward to this. Not because it will bring me some super special flight experience, but because I will be able to connect everything I want everywhere and it has integrated PDB current matter and, and nice, really nice stuff like that. Probably I will not use C1, C2 switcher because on the mini quad there is just not enough space to do it, but still it really, really looks and is designed great. It's like 405 CTR on ferrets and cool. Really, 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 really cool. Okay, this is, I think, all for today. I have to start building, not only shooting video, how I'm gonna build stuff. Until the next one. Bye-bye.